Hi, I just thought I'd give you a quick tour of the actual DIY camper conversion, whatever, uh, micro camper that we've done. Um, and basically, here we go. So, the actual car is, it's an, actually an L3 Peugeot Partner. Um, the idea of this build was to do it as cheap as possible. Um, so the actual car um, originally was a, about a grand. I go them down to 750 and that it, mechanically it's not too bad I've had a few issues and that but basically um, as you've seen from the other camper builds um, of what's going on so I'll just show you the insides and everything as far as the exterior is concerned um, basically I've um, sprayed we sprayed the um, bumpers and the sides and the back just put some nice wheel trims on the windows at the rear I've uh, been tinted um, as I run my own little business I just put a sign on the back and uh, I bought a private plate to kind of go with my other one it's a bit of um, personal history with that so that's the exterior so let's go on to the interior we'll go through let's go through the side so you can get through the actual side that way or you can I've designed it so that you can go through then the back as well and as you can see from the layout basically it's an l shape layout um, this has all been built from scratch literally seats removed uh, flooring down uh, with insulation um, the actual units then so this this one here is the actual kitchen unit and i'll go through that in a minute this side is the actual um, seating area that then converts into the bed. So let's get on just with the actual kitchen unit. Under here we've got several compartments. The one this side is basically just food and bits and pieces and that there. Then the one here um, has the actual cooker unit um, which we will be upgrading to like a more of a double size one and everything else but then we've got pots and pans and bits and pieces as you can see there's bread and that in there at the moment because we're away um, and then up the top basically this is like tea coffee sugar everything else and in there is all utensils um, the we've got a, to uh, a toilet roll holder and um, kitchen roll holder there but this is on an arm that I bought from somewhere that's actually clamped down onto the kitchen unit but then has got an extendable thing now we've got um android tablets i've got samsung i think it's a 10.5 inch 10.6 inch tablet so basically that then can go on there so while sitting or whatever we've got tv and everything else um while we're looking at the ceiling all the ceiling plastics up here had been taken out and then that's insulated up there as well um, and there's insulation between all of this for lighting um, basically I've gone with a ring light I did have a different type of LED you know to actually start with but the ring light that then comes down to a switch on the side there let's get that into focus um, which then you can adjust the brightness and all the different colors and everything else at the top originally um, there was two cupboard units there's the little cupboard here let's get that open and that's just got spare cables, batteries, we've got some playing cards and little games in there as well. But basically this side, that was took out um, because when you sit in that corner, um, it just makes it a bit more headroom and you can actually sit further back. You know, and, that. and again, the roof carpeted and everything else. So um, I'll just get on with the bed So um, and the seating, I'll just go around so just give me two seconds all right so as far as the bed goes but um i'll just talk about the actual covering first um the actual um seating um was basically off a foot on that i bought second hand um and then that's just been um there's chipboard um, yeah plywood sorry underneath and then they've just been recovered this is actually the second recover they've had now with the Peugeot partner and the same as the Sitch from Berlingo is to get full length um, sleeping basically the seats what you need to do is move those forward and just tilt them up and then 
this bit here drops down into that gap and then that is supported basically this unit here then extends out it's only about as you can see it's what four inches five inches but then that gives you literally six foot in the actual um, thing so then as far as that oh and this little bit here basically is just an armrest so when I'm sitting in this corner because the missus sits in that corner then I've got a little bit of an armrest and everything else right so basically to get the bed out normally like I say you just pop the seats forward and drop that down which takes a few seconds um, then under here this one actually pulls out as you can see under there we've got the bedding and everything else and then this one um, basically because this one um, is actually housed the toilet so um, just quickly explain about the toilet while I'm at it um, it is just a portable sorry about the jolting about on this but it's just a portable um, uh, what are they chemical toilets uh, flushable toilet um, this um, we bought a few years ago for when camping um, and the idea was was to use this and that the, the actual unit of this decided the height of these of the actual units here so that then that would be that now yes I would like one that is just literally one or two centimeters lower so then i've got a little bit more headroom for myself when sitting because my head is just touching the top so all right so that's the toilet right so just let's push that back in all right so again now like you see this one's pulled out that one's there and then what happens i'm just going to set you down here and show you so the back of the actual unit what happens just move the pillars out of the way that lifts up it's on a clip to stop it moving and then that just drops down into the gap here that one pushes across and then you've got the full bed now if I go from the back you can then see and it's going to there and you can see that you've got all that room for thing and I mean it is suitable you know for two just about for sleeping um, I'll put the measurements exactly on screen because I can't remember it as we're out at the moment and that's a, that's the actual bedding the curtains um, now these have been sticking points about which way to actually do it on the sides they just lift up and we've got um, velcro around that then just I'm trying to do this while the camera so hopefully this is steady and I do apologize if it's not and then they go up there these are then full blackout curtains so um, I haven't put it up right but as you can see that covers that so that's that one that one that window and this window and then the back window as you can see is just um, tied up there and then that is on just a um, cable runner whatever you want to call it that then I'll slide across there um, so that's the curtain <coughs> right under this storage unit here because as you can see that one has got the um, what did I say there's bedding under there and then the toilet there this one is basically the main storage for clothes and everything else and water and bits and pieces now underneath here it does look a little bit of a mess at the moment but that's all of our clothes um, there's the dirty clothes in the bag there and then as you can see down here we've just got that but this is then underneath this box which I'll put links to how this was done um, underneath there we've got 100 um, amp hour leisure battery and then it's connected to the um, solar charge unit and those switches basically are just to turn either the battery off and the solar off and everything else then from there we've got two USBs coming up there are also around there's one here um and which has got a 2.4 amp and a one amp usb charger and then there's another one of those in the corner as well so basically we've got a fair lot of usb and then that then controls the lighting up here and as well there is an led strip light there which is then sensor controlled that then comes in as far as external lighting so that you can see when we're outside this is a bit i've not decided exactly what we're doing um, i've got these little solar units at the moment that's just velcroed onto there so that's come off when we're driving and that but i'm not too sure how bright or whatever it's going to be um because they haven't really been anywhere to try these yet or i've got these ones which is basically a magnetic but these are battery powered then can 
go on the side of the car. So I'm going to see which works best on those anyway. Um, as we just on here anyway, if I go up to the top, you can see there's the little solar panel. It's around about, I think it's about a 50 watt panel, which is enough basically so that when um, we're charging our USB stuff and everything else, it should just keep the leisure battery um, going. Now, as you can see at the back here, there's a little uh, bit of wood. Now that's actually a table, so I'll just show you in a second how that goes. All right, now the table just comes out. I've got a slot over on there, and then there's basically a leg just under there. So, um, and then there you go. That actually then slots into there. Um, the leg is actually from an old tripod, um, so we can extend it. And at the back, I have actually two more grooves um, down one on the kitchen unit there at literally near enough work top height because it can go that high from the ground and then one the other side as well so where we can sit outside underneath this unit as well and um, there's two little chairs to sit outside as well so again even though these are it is such a small space you do actually have a fair bit of room you've just got to be conservative about you know where everything goes Right. as well what i can show you here is basically the door they've been carpeted as well um they're all the panels as well the door panels the boot panel which is there as you can see that's carpeted they're all insulated as well we've got a few of these meshes around one at the back um, one at the side there which is accessible when you're on the night because again this shelf as you can see from before it is level so you've got that on a night and up here on a night as well to actually use right, as far as the cab area front area driver's area um, just to make it a little bit smarter what I've done is I've um, painted these now these were just basically masked off and painted this top bit was taken off and sprayed and around the buttons there uh, they were sprayed these the other bits around the steering wheel were done as well and just to make it a little a little bit nicer you know a um, steering wheel cover now at the top up on this so let's come around this way you may be able to see a little bit better in the front you have actually got um uh, can you see there um the little storage areas there's there as well as the middle and there, there is normally a carbon monoxide there, detector there, but um, I've just got to change the batteries in it. Um, that's just a little light so that if you need to get through to the cab area, because um, yeah, I didn't explain the curtains in the front, go all the way around, they come all the way across. So they've completely blacked out the cab area, but you can get through the middle if needed. Um, because on a nice, I mean, I have a lot of camera gear. Um, so then that goes onto the front seats and everything else. And again, just the doors have been painted. At the end of the day, um, yes, let's get you to see me now. Yes, it's an old car um, and everything else. Um, basically, the, the whole conversion, um, which is including um, the car itself, um, all the woodwork, basically everything. I've done a spreadsheet. I'll put the full exact penny total up on the screen, but I think it was about £1,400. I mean, total because I spent, I bought a private plate at about 250 So, you know, I spent less than £1,700. And so far, I mean, myself personally, I've had about four or five weekend breaks. Uh, I've come out of the missus now. I think this is our third trip. This is real. So again, if you like these kind of videos, you know, subscribe because we're documenting what we're actually doing in these. And I mean, as you can see where we are at the moment, we're just outside of Rill. And um, that's where we could stop. We, we literally stopped here last night. Um, so for all that, you know, yes, there's a few slight mechanical problems that I've had, but um, there's nothing major um, to actually be done with it. And that's, uh, yeah, um, for the price, a little, nice little car to drive park anywhere that's the thing with this kind of thing yeah at the end of the day with my sign on the back for work people wouldn't if you just parked in any street no one would even know that you'd be actually sleeping in there well anyway thank you for watching um if you've liked this quick tour of well probably a longer tour of the um, camper then um, like, subscribe, do all that kind of YouTube stuff. Um, but as well, I'll put links somewhere, probably up there, um, to the actual van builds, because there's about four or five of them, I think I've done. And, that, and I'll also put a link over here somewhere, or again, wherever, of the 
trips out that we're actually doing um because you can follow me because i do a bit of photography and bits and pieces so again um thank you for watching um hope you've enjoyed this and it's give you some inspiration um to get something done like this okay thank you then yeah bye